Let's look a little bit more at calculating the rate of the reaction uh, with respect to the reactants or the products. We're going to use this balanced reaction that we saw in the last video. Um, recall that the balancing coefficients are listed. Um, you do not have to list the one unless you want to, but the balancing coefficients then are one of these, five of these, three CO2s, and four water. So those are my balancing coefficients. If I'm talking about the rate of the reaction, the, the measured rate, the plot of the change in concentration versus the change in time, will be different depending on whether or not I'm looking at the propane, the oxygen, the CO2, or the water. So numerically, I will get a different slope for my graph of concentration versus time for these four reagents, um, these two reactants and two products, because of the stoichiometry. But I might monitor any one of them to determine what the rate of my reaction is. So let's say, I need to be specific, let's say that the rate of appearance of CO2 is a certain value based on my instrumentation, and then we'll go from there. So my rate of appearance of CO2 is 1.5 molarity per second. That's the rate based on carbon dioxide appearing. If I want to relate that to the rate of, for example, propane disappearing or being consumed, then I could calculate the rate of propane being consumed using this value. All right, in order to use this, in order to calculate this answer, I need to relate the rate of appearance of CO2 to the rate of disappearance of C3H8. And that's through the, the equation that we had at the end of the last video. This is based on the stoichiometry. The change in concentration of CO2 with respect to time, one third of it because of the three in front of the CO2, that's equal to the negative change in concentration of C3H8 with respect to time. Don't get too hung up on this negative sign. I'm not going to end up with any negative values for this calculation. I just need a negative sign in front of the change in concentration of C3H8 with respect to time because it's being consumed. It's actually going away. And so if I want to calculate the change in concentration of C3H8 with respect to time, I would calculate it according to this part of the equation. That is one-third of 1 1.5 molarity per second. My final answer to two sig figs then is 0 0.50 molarity per second. That is the rate of consumption. It is a positive numerical value of C3H8. All right, let's look at another example. Now let's say that we have been able to monitor this reaction with respect of oxygen and we find that the rate of consumption or the rate of disappearance of oxygen is a certain value. All right, so for example, I might have equipment that would measure the rate of disappearance of oxygen. Notice it's a positive numerical value. Rates are always expressed as positive values. It is 0.75 molarity per second that is a disappearing. Now let's calculate what the rate of appearance of water would be. All right, to do this calculation, I need the equation that relates these two stoichiometrically. Uh, again, we t did that at the end of the last video. I'm looking for the relationship between oxygen's concentration changing and water's, and that equation is this. One-fifth of the change of oxygen with respect to time. There should be a minus sign out here. Again, don't get too hung up on the minus sign. None of my answers will be negative. This negative means that I'm multiplying by a negative 0.75 in order to make sure that the rate is positive but one-fifth times the change in oxygen, because that's the stoichiometric coefficient for oxygen, is equal to one-fourth times the change for water. And so if I'm trying to solve for the rate of appearance of water, then I solve this equation for the delta H2O over delta T. Plugging in my values, again, I'm not going to have any negative values. The negative sign is just to make sure that all my rates are positive. I end up with 4 fifths times 0.75. If I go to 2 sig figs, how about a 0.60 molarity per second? That is the rate of appearance of water. 